Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to solve a hard question, but it's very frequently asked in Facebook and Google interviews. And the question is binary tree maximum path sum. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be constantly solving good and classic legal questions with clear explanation, animation, and visualization. Now let's look at the question. In this question, we are given a binary tree. And here we define a path in a binary tree is a sequence of nodes, where each pair of adjacent nodes in a sequence has an edge connecting them. And here is a key condition. A node can only appear in a sequence at most once. And note that the path does not need to pass through the root of a tree. And the path sum of a path is the sum of all the nodes' values in that path. So we are given the root of this binary tree, and we have to return the maximum path sum of any path. In example one, this binary tree has three nodes with values uh, one, two, three. And the optimal path will be the sum of all the values, one plus two plus three, which is six. And in example two, the optimal path sum will be the right subtree, 15 plus 20 plus 7, which is 42. And data constraint, the number of nodes in a tree can go up to 3 times 10 to the power of 4. So we have solved many tree data structure questions so far. So you should be familiar that the first uh, algorithm we should think of when solving uh, tree problems is recursion, or DFS. And for this question, we have to perform a post-order traversal, which is traverse into left and right subtree first, and then update rest. And the tricky part of this question is when and how to update the final output rest, and what the DFS function should return. And there's a related question uh, 543, diameter of binary tree. The solution code is almost the same. So if you know how to solve this question, you should be able to solve this one as well. Now let's see the code in action. Okay, in the code, first handle the edge case. If the root is null, then we will just return zero. And then define a class variable rest, and then initialize it to a very small value. And here we will write a separate DFS function, which will return an integer. And the base condition of this DFS function is if the root is null, then we will return zero. And then perform a post-order traversal. Get the result from left and right subtree first. And notice that we will take a maximum of the result of the left or right subtree to zero. And this means that if the result returned from the left or right subtree is negative, it won't contribute to the maximum path sum. So we will just exclude it from the path, which is four into zero. And next is to try to update rest, which is the maximum of rest and current root value plus left rest and right rest. And another tricky part is the DFS function will return the value of the current root plus the maximum between left rest and right rest. And this will be more clear when we see it in the example. Okay, and here let's look at example two. And imagine that we're standing at the node 20. And the result returned from the left subtree will be 15. And the result from the right subtree is seven. So if either one of each node is a negative value, we will just exclude it and set it to zero, which means that we won't go uh, this path at all. And next, we will try to update rest. And here we have a path, and the sum of all nodes value is uh, 20 plus 15 plus 7. So now rest will be updated to 42. And next, we will return from the DFS function, but we have to return root dot value plus the maximum of left rest and right rest. Because uh, if you remember, the key condition in this question is 
a node can only appear in the sequence of the path at most once. So if we return both left and right subtree, then the root will appear in the path twice, which is not allowed. So we have to return an optimal path, which is the maximum of the left or right subtree values. And at the end, the maximum path sum we can get in this uh, binary tree is a path in the right subtree, 15 plus 20 plus 7, which is 42. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So the key algorithm to solve this question or any kind of tree data structure question is recursion or DFS. And for this question, we have to perform a post-order traversal, which is traverse into left and right subtree first, and then update rest. And the key part in this question is when and how to update rest and what the DFS function should return. And a very similar question is uh, question 543, diameter of binary tree. So give it a try after the video. And the time complexity of this approach is big of n, linear time. And space complexity, no extra spaces is needed uh, in the code, but it could be big of h. h is the height of the binary tree for the call stack in the recursion algorithm. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.